Uh, this gentleman came from via initially Japan. He somehow made his way to Oakland, California. He's touring around the country. You've seen him on HBO. You've seen him on BET. You've seen him on Stars. You've seen him in, in person. You've seen him on YouTube. Uh, and if you haven't, you're in for a real treat. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for my boy, your boy. He's coming back. And we got Nima Williams in the house, baby. What's Give up, it up to my boy Nima. What's good, baby? What's happening? What's happening? How my you feeling? I feel good. I feel we out here. Good. I'm glad to be here. Nima's in the house. All right. This it's is, cold. It's cold as shit. It's cold. It's cold as <laughs> Can I cuss? You can cuss. It's cold as fuck, fly. man. Let it fly. God damn it. So where are you just coming from? Uh, Amsterdam. Since you got Amsterdam. Yeah, man. Dope. Amsterdam. How was that? Incredible. Incredible? Yeah, high times, high, high nights. Uh, um, I'm jelly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really hating on the low I now. I took mushrooms. It was good. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. How yeah. long were you there? I was there for, for a weekend. Nice. But yeah, I you got to do it up for that weekend. I take mushrooms every time I go to Amsterdam. Got to. But I mean, I'm not, I don't Did you perform? I, should I not be saying this? I don't, it's, it's legal. It's um, legal. I didn't perform on the mushrooms, but it was. I was I, about to say, that's going to be a hell of a show. Yeah, I, I don't think I could do that. I, <laughs> I, yeah, uh, but I mean, I'm not. I don't, I, like, I don't do drugs per se, but if you're yeah. in Amsterdam, it's like, come on, you got to have an experience. You got to. And you, got you feel to. safe there. I because they don't, I think, they don't trip man, as much. I think if I was in America, yeah. I would feel paranoid. Right. I'd feel like I might get jacked. Right. Those Dutch people ain't fucking with nobody. Right. They are like, matter of fact, there was a fight in the club, and I thought it was a fight happening. It was the funniest shoving match I ever seen in my right. life. They no just fight, pushed bro. for five minutes. Yeah, they were just like pushing and holding each other, <laughs> looking at. Oh, you the one? The one? And they were just, but it never broke out. Nothing what? happened. And I was just kind of standing like this, and I said, "This ain't like, going nowhere." Nobody gonna swing. Nobody brought up their no. phone and hit with the war star. They, they don't do that. They way. started dancing. It was. <laughs> Wow, I'm not wow. gonna lie though, Hostel has made me not want to go to Amsterdam. It's that movie yeah, alone. that one movie. That's but scary. you know what? They was probably German. Yeah. Probably. And that's just one side of it. I mean, there's there's worst case scenario when you come when you bring your ass to America. So. I feel like there's always True. some weird shit going down <laughs> in Europe. Yeah. So, but you just gotta stay in the north. I wouldn't I wouldn't go to a hostel. I know mm. that. Right, After right. that movie, I wouldn't go to a hostel. <laughs> Keep my ass right at the Marriott. Yo, so going back to the beginning, I mean, uh, let, let's introduce yourself formally to our, my audience and my guests that don't know who you are. I know you're seeing them. He's like, who, who is this guy? He's funny. You know, what, what's this guy's story? Where, where you come from? And, and what have you done? So uh, just to kind of go back, um, as I did a little bit of research on, on this guy, I, I saw that you originated and were born initially in Japan. I was born in Kyoto, Japan. In yep. Japan. Yep. So, at what point did you even make your way to the States? And how did that I even come about? I was only born in Japan. We lived in uh, Kathmandu, Nepal. And, okay. Uh, um, it's a very, very third world country. My brother was born there. My cousins were born there. And my brother had a lot of complications in his, in his, you know, get, during his, his birth. And my mother just wanted a, a, a clean hospital. So, the gangster she is, she lied about being as pregnant as she was, got on a plane, went to Japan to have me. What? Yo, we just got an incoming call. You're live with Charlie Wilson and Nima Williams. What's up? What's up, man? I'm on the radio. You on the, you radio, on the radio, baby? Oh, man. I ain't nothing on no radio, oh, man. What's you live, up? baby. Who am I talking to? Where you calling uh, from? Man, it's Pete. Man, it's Pete, man. I'm uh, from Chicago. Oh, you from Chicago? Oh, shit. Y'all yeah, y'all crazy out there. From Chicago. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, Chicago man. having a lot of uh, uh, violence right now, man. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. But there ain't no shooting tonight because I'm at the tree of Chili's. So, you know, it's all good. You're at Chili's. You're getting your two for 20 and you're going to call it up. tonight, huh? That's, That's it, Dad. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> Yo, it's so... Tough, this is, what's up, man? I ain't been a fan of yours for about two years, though. Nice. You ain't there. Oh, what? Yeah, I seen you on TV with that girl on the, in, the, in the same man. I got all your albums. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's hilarious, Charlie exactly. Wilson. Is that the hey Gap Band? Yeah. He's talking about how you doing? My name is Charlie. That's real. That's, yeah. That's, that's yeah. close. That's close. That, that that is not that is not that Charlie Wilson. He really he really thought I was the 50 year old Charlie you Wilson the, with the braids. You think it's you're not the, Charlie Wilson you, with the gold teeth? No, that's, that's not that's not the Charlie. That's not Uncle Charlie. No, that's not Charlie. This guy. Wilson. This dude about 20, 19 years old. This guy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, so while we got while we got you on the line, young gentleman that don't know who he's calling. What about the question of the day? Is it okay for you to have a, a relationship with your uh, friend that's the, uh, of the opposite sex if you're in a relationship? It's okay to have a relationship with my yeah, friend yeah, of the you, opposite you, sex? You got, you, you got a girl right now, but is it okay for you to have other female friends while you're in a rela committed relationship? Uh, 
the friends. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't hit. You can't hit. You can't hit. You can. You can. You can. You can. You can suck a titty, but you can't you go can past suck. that. A titty. He said you can suck but a titty, how but you can't do stop about. after you suck. Good question. The titty. Good question. Your girl's not gonna trust you to stop it at just the titty. Yo, thanks for calling, Big Dog. Keep tuning in, Charlie Wilson wait, Radio. Wait, wait, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. What's good? What's up, man? It's Q. <laughs> Q. What's up, Dow? Munchie. I know you got to <laughs> What's up, Dow? If you don't get your get your scoop ball head ass off the radio, <laughs> see what happens. Hey, I knew it wasn't I real. You said he was your fan. Me, you said he was your fan. Fake fan. I almost gave up, dog. I almost gave up. It took y'all 20 minutes to answer the phone, but I'm glad you did, dog. What's up, homie? Talking about Chicago with this 214 ass. Like, get your ass off the line. Yo, shout out to my boy Q. Yo, we got a comedy show in Dallas that's coming up. We shutting down Waco. We shutting down San Antonio. And then we bringing it back to Dallas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, if y'all are fans of Charlie Wilson, man, be your ass in Waco, San Antonio, or Dallas the weekend of part six, seven, and eight. We got next, dog. I'm trying we to got tell them. Next, got next, I'm trying to tell them. It's going down. Yo, set, yo yes, sir. Let, let, let's do it big, man. I don't do much, man. We got to hit Onyx. We got it. We got We got to wall out. <laughs> now, nah, whatever you want to do, whatever you they got midgets there this weekend, so man, you listen midgets. out on real I'm dead serious, dude. They have a midget there this past weekend. When you come up it might be paraplegic week, but whatever you want whatever you yeah, want to do, I'm not gonna week. judge you. Come on, kick it with your boy now. No take doubt. Your booty chicken, take it to the hood, man. We got you now. No doubt. Good looking out, Q. I'm gonna holler at you, baby. Yes, Holla at me, mate. Hold it down, P O P. Yo, we out of here. Shout out to Q of Dallas, man. We got a show coming up, man. I don't like how you let that man interrupt my story. You see how ratchet Pete Jason the in the end, I was mid story. This man looked at me and said, oh, "Hold on." He mid gave story. me the hold on finger. Mid he story. didn't even finish the sentence. I was right talking about a, a, a story about my birth. I'm like, well, then my mother. Where it she moved, She moved. Yeah, she moved. She went there just. This I thought it was somebody employee. It was a damn prank this call. This dude he think gave me in the, the hold on finger. <laughs> I just so, don't even feel so, like I want to finish the story. So now. you started in Japan. Yeah, man. Pick, I pick back up. Pick back up. My now. bad. Pick back yeah, up. Yeah, man. My mother went there because it was a clean hospital. She's a gangster. Just okay. had, gave birth to me. Then we're right back to Nepal. I stayed there till I was about three. Okay. And then I moved to Arizona for a year. And then I moved to Oakland, California, where I've been since I was about five years old. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. What transpired to even break open the door into to into comedy? Because I guess what what were you doing before comedy? What was what, who was Nemo before that comedy door even opened? Um, I was doing Twenty Nine to Life. Right. <laughs> uh, you know what? I heard I heard that, and I wasn't even going to bring it up. I was going to bring it up, but you 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 served some time. You served. Nah, some I mean, time. my my sentence got extremely commuted. And I definitely did not snitch. I was um. It was a long story. This was in the nineties. Um, I was with, is, is, I didn't kill nobody, by the way. Okay, I good. With, I feel safer. I was you with. You feel safer, Dre? Yeah, I mean, you know, mm. I was with. <laughs> not really, because I, I still don't know what it, what he got what he in did, for. So, not just, like, so, so go on, go on. I was with somebody that shot somebody, so in turn, it's called oh. California Felony Murder Rule. You get charged with the exact same crime, so I had to do the time. Wow. So do the Yo, we got some, not, I didn't even so know that. I, I started doing comedy, uh, in, yeah, and you know what, one of the truth that pissed me off the most, I don't mind doing the time. I'm mad right. that I missed the 90s. <laughs> I spent the 90s in jail. Damn. I went in in 92 and got out in 99. I missed everything. I missed Def Jam. I missed uh, every man. Miss I missed friends. the Clinton Martin, era. The I missed series. Martin. Damn, everything I said. Right. I missed everything the 90s had to offer. Uh, I got out and Bush was in office. Uh, it was disgusting. You <laughs> say, this is how y'all welcome me back? Man. Damn, fuck you only God. remember Bill? Nah, man, I didn't. Damn. I was I was down for Bill. I was locked up for Bill Clinton. I was locked up when Tupac got shot, Biggie got shot. That's right. I was locked that's up during, right. the, during the riots in L.A. Wow. I was Everything that was happening out here during the 90s, I was watching it from a day room like, man, ain't this some bullshit. But I started doing comedy in jail. In jail. In jail. Now, and it's funny that you say that because I always wondered, you know, I'm a, I'm a comedian. 
uh, I always had to just want to, like, how would I even respond and react in jail because of my personality? Mm-hmm. Would I be able to shine and still be myself, or would I have to turn into, like, some different type of dude? What's your name, fam? I can't say Charlie. Well, let me start I can't say saying Charlie. this. You know what I'm people's saying? People's renditions of jail <laughs> and prison, it's not as bad as people say. Now, people kill each other. People fuck each other. People yeah, yeah. do a lot of crazy shit. But the thing is, if you ain't no despis- despicable, nasty, fucked up person, and you got a heart, and you'll stand up for yourself, and you willing to stand up for yourself, yeah. the fighting really is in the beginning of your time. After you've done some time, you proved yourself, you just want to live your life inside there, and you want to get right. something out of it. Now, I started being a knucklehead, and I did a lot of bullshit before I discovered comedy. I mean, I was on, I was on a, uh, in a shoe program uh, right before I, I did my comedy. I was on a, a, a lockdown thing, 23-1 lockdown, and um, they took me off the shoe and put me into a, 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 a hall. Uh, it was American Hall at that time. Um, and uh, I was on a modified program, which means I couldn't leave my cell without being in, in shackles and leg irons, and I couldn't be around any other inmates. Wow. And I would only get one hour outside of my cell a day to shower and watch some television. So a friend of mine, his name is Straight Lace, Lacey Jackson from San Francisco. If you listen to this, brother, Shout I ain't out. talked to you since, and I would love to hear your goddamn voice. <laughs> he was a rapper. He got a record deal while he was locked up. What? So the guards, who are cool about this. Is this is in Cali. This is in Cali. This okay. is Yeah, this is in uh, Stockton, California. Exactly. Um, uh, he, this is... Uh, by Sacramento. Okay. Um, so this dude got a record deal, and the guards were supportive of positive shit. So they wanted him to be able to perform his shit in front of the, in front of the, in front of our our group, right. our, our 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 pod, our day in our day room. Um, and uh, uh, they brought beats in and everything. But to make it non-racially segregated, they turned it into a talent show. So the white people get involved, the Spanish mm. people get involved, everybody have their thing. I wanted to watch my boy. He was actually my roommate at the time. I wanted to watch my man do his shit. And the guard said to me, you cannot watch the talent show unless you're in the talent show. They were trying to call my bluff. Wow. I said, word, I want to be in it. So we on the vent system that night, which is the wire. You can all speak to each other on the vent system. The entire tier can talk to each other. So people get on the wire, yell at each other. Yo, man, Snow, what you doing? They call me Snow. I said, man, what the fuck am I supposed to do on this town show? I ain't got no goddamn talent. And everyone said, you're the funniest dude we ever met. Yeah. Do some comedy. I had no concept of comedy because I had never seen comedy. You know, right. I, I didn't see Comic View. I didn't see Def Jam. So before I got, you went in, you weren't even like into comedy like that? Hell talking. no. Wow. Hell no. Hell wow. no. I dropped out of school in the eighth grade. I was selling drugs. I was a fuck up. But I did wow. get my... I did get a degree in okay. jail. I went to college. I did a lot of good things in there. Good, um, good, 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 got good. my shit together. Got a tie. There you go. He got a uh, tie on today. You know, and I won the talent show. <laughs> Wow. And from that day forward, wasn't supposed to be in it. Wasn't supposed to be in it. And 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 uh, the craziest part is the guards to fuck with me because they like to fuck with you. I had my pants pressed out. Now we press our pants under the bed. We put it right. under the mattress. It gives us our crease. Right. I had all my shit ready. I had my best, you know, denim on. I was ready to represent. They said, uh, they said, Williams, you can't come out now. You know, you're a modified program. They made me do the talent show in my boxers and leg irons and shackles. What? And I won that bitch. And all my snaps, all my jokes were just snaps, but they were talking about people. You know, I just did crowd work because I didn't know what stand-up was, but I was making fun of the guards. There was this one guard who everyone thought was gay, but he always seemed to bust in and open the door while you taking a <laughs> shit because the toilet's right next to the door. Yeah. And it was just like things like that, man. It, I don't think wow. it was that funny, but they loved it. Maybe it was the confidence. Maybe they saw this is what I was supposed to do. Wow. And um, I never went back to anything negative. Um, wow. Did the rest of my time. I started talent shows in there. I started doing comedy. I got out. I was on Comic View within eight months of my release. Now, and how I never did that back. even come about? Comic because View? you well, no, well, when you got out, did mm-hmm. you still say, I'm going to run with this comedy thing? Oh, that was my dream. That was the end of it. That was the, the, the that was nothing else I was going to do. That was it. So when, you hit the, so when you hit the stage after killing a talent show, that light bulb hit like, yep. There it is. Yeah, and I had got stage time while I was locked up. We used, okay, we have a day movement. It's okay. a move and a school, mo- a, a job and a school movement. So everybody's got to sit on quiet in the day room, and they tell you to sit on quiet. So they can do a head count, and they can wait for the radio call for people to leave, walk single file to either their jobs or their school or what the fuck you doing. So people have to be on quiet anyway. And the, and the counselors, the, the you know the guards realize that I could keep people quiet by doing comedy. So right. every day I would stand in front of the quiet before the movement. I would stand there and I would tell jokes. I'd snap on people and people wow. weren't allowed to say shit back. It was a perfect audience. Wow. They would get in trouble if they said anything back. <laughs> so, so you were going to win I, either I way. I would just talk. My, I would ju- then I started actually writing material. I started coming up with like material and jokes with no real concept of what comedy was. But, you know, I got laughs and I loved it, man. It was all, it was all I cared about. I was just like, I just want to make people laugh. So when you got out, did you continue to kind of get into some open mics? Oh, when I got out, the very first place I went, I went to a place called Dorsey's Live. In Oakland, California, and the host was Linnell. Aha. Uh-huh. Linnell was the host. Wow. Love that girl. Shout she out started to me in comedy. It's funny, Shout I actually out just to talked Linnell. to her, her people. Yeah, she, and about she, getting her on the show, so that's dope, man. That's yeah, that's dope. and I walked her to the stage. I went up to the this dude, Oris Washington, was the DJ. I said, Hey, um, I'm, I'm a member from Ohio. Uh, I, <laughs> 
didn't want to. I said, I'm here from Ohio. I've been on Comedy Central. I'd really like to get a little stage time. Um, and this and, is what you said to get in? Yeah, they didn't know wow. who to, and they just figured I was, you know, some white dude that's been on Comedy Central. They all kissed my ass. Wow. So Or's like, yeah, we'll get you right up, man. So then I went up to Linnell and I, I, I whispered. I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm from Ohio um, and I've been on Comedy Central. Can I get a little time? She right. put me up next. Wow. A little game for people in the you can just lie to get on stage. <laughs> and she put me up next and I did my little little three minutes and wow. um, and then when the when um. I was done. I got some applause. It wasn't crazy. I didn't right. like a standing ovation. Right. I survived. Right. I mean, it wasn't for somebody that had been on Comedy Central, but it was sure good for somebody that just got released <laughs> who was still wearing uh, uh, <laughs> prison issue draws. Um, and I whispered in Linnell's ear, and she'll back this story up. She knows it's true. I said, it's the first time I've ever been on stage. And then she said, hold what? on. What? And grabbed what? me and said, this is his first time on stage. Then everyone jumped up and started clapping because it was impressive for a first time on stage. Right, right. It, was, it was technically my first time on a stage but I had done comedy and from there right. man I just kept hustling man I just kept grinding and people took notice I auditioned at the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition at that time Tony Spires was booking Comic View yeah. he booked me for my first episode of Comic View in uh, 99 in Atlanta with um, um, what's my man's name um, Lil Durr um, oh, yeah. Ricky Smiley he was yeah. hosting and then I did it every year after that Nice, nice, dope, yeah. man. Yeah. Yo, you're getting you're getting some some heavy knowledge right here with Nemo Williams, man, and his story, man. It's dope. Oh, by the Definitely way, man, inspired. I was not. Uh, people look at me and I'm a white dude. They like uh, he must have been like an Aryan or something, man. I was uh, I was um, I hung with black dudes. I was with four and five Bay Area. I think they um, I think they kind of get that. I think yeah, they I think they kind of would. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I, I was at, yeah, bit. I was actually a nation of Islam for a brief period. Yeah, wow. yeah, um, for protection a little bit, but I, I was down with them. You were down I, with I had to like Sajalahu and Assalam alaikum to the degree of greatest master plan, sir. To do all that, all of But you know, it was it was knowledge. I enjoyed it. I wanted to learn. I was I was up. thirsty for any knowledge I get my hands on. And the and the brothers who were my Islamic brothers in there, they were some real good people. And yeah. um, you know, I felt safe and comfortable. And I enjoyed talking about some real shit opposed from Substance. dumb prison right. bullshit. Right. You know, these men were talking about some real shit. Right. You know, purification right. of mind, body, and soul, um, uplifting themselves and their people. And you know, the fact that I'm a white guy, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that they said my people were devils and all that shit. I was like, yeah, fuck them. Um, <laughs> See, I'm a kick with you. And I just kept saying, let's uplift our people. Uh, now you got me getting in my bag. Now <laughs> I'm about go. to talk my shit. <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm not hopping out this foreign thing to go battle John, John, the Don. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not over here dusting off. I got the iPhone Seven. Niggas don't even know that. Ice, man, what's up, man? What oh, you thought man. about that classic? I'm just happy he got the chain, man. Oh, and listen, man, that's it's my brother from right, another man. mother, man. Oh, man. Yo, 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 and real Love talk. Ice. It's my favorite battle. Guy, right? I, tell me right now, Ice didn't have the performance of the night, though. That's ah. nuts. What you thought about that? That's 15 minutes of fame. Let's go!